Experimentation complete. Thank you very much. Ah, <sighs> 4 a.m. Time for bed. Great. He's asleep. Right brain, is everything in order on your side? Everything's a-okay, Captain Areno. Fantastic. Well, if there are no issues to be found, I think it is optimal for the two of us to enter a state of quiescence and rest. What? Sleep, right brain. I've never, I've never heard you say that before. Wait! Can we watch a movie? You know we can't. Come on! One movie. That's it. I'm sure there's a fresh tape created from today's memories in the dream machine, so go get it. So wait! <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> Uh, right brain? Where did you get this tape? From the dream machine, like you said? Over there! How d Why is that a thing? Turn it off! I'm trying! Try harder! Oh god, the horror! Help me, left brain! Quiescent objective is a state of quietness or inactivity. That's not what I wanted help with! <sighs> what the f nightmares, man? They freaking suck. I don't think anybody has ever enjoyed a nightmare. And if they have, then it wasn't a nightmare. It was a dream. I mean, duh. I don't know why they exist. I mean, technically our brains create them while we sleep, but it's like... The frick, brain. Stop it. Oh god, no, 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 I didn't... Halo gang was poppin'. The first nightmare I can remember having was about me getting dropped off at a daycare, and it's just something my brain likes to remind me of every now and then. Now you might be thinking, uh, Adam, that does sound so bad. What if I told you in this particular dream the people look like those characters from that terrifying Rugrats episode, and the entire time they were laughing like clowns and tickling me to death, while my family just walked away like nothing was wrong? What the heck? I was dying! I might have had some, uh, issues with daycare <laughs> when I was younger. Recently, I've had probably one of the scariest dreams I have ever had in my entire life. And now I'm going to share it with you. Because it's Halloween. Boo. <laughs> if this is as scary as your first one, I don't think we have too much to worry about. <laughs> it all started with a game. A game not so well known in my dream city, but those who have heard of it were terrified. A sort of creepypasta-like concept that people said was the real deal. But like... So do all creepypastas, so I mean it's whatever. A game called... Mama Seeks. The game goes like this. First, what you'll need to do is activate it. In order to do so, you'll need a flameless candle, because Mama wants you to be safe, something of personal value, and the ability to count to ten. Once you have everything, you need to place down the candle alongside your personal item, and chant the following. Mama Mama, hear our shriek. Mama Mama, come and seek. As soon as you do that, you'll need to count to 10, giving you enough time to think about actually going through with activating the game, while also giving you time to hide. Now let's say you and some friends activated the game. Once the game is activated, one of you is screwed. Mama will choose one of you at random, or if you're alone, you, and will do everything she can to find and murder them. The only way you can get Mama to not come after you is very simple. All you have to do is get close to someone, double tap them, and Mama is now transferred onto that person. But here's the thing. You're now making the conscious decision to end somebody just by tapping them. No real motive but to save your own skin. You don't know if they know the game. You don't know if they'd believe you even if you told them. All you know is if you double tap them, you're free, and they're not. The good news is if you double tap someone, they can't double tap you back. Once you transfer Mama onto someone else, you have now beat the game. But if someone who activated it from a different game double taps you, Mama seeks. Wait, there could be multiple games? Is there a step mamas? I I think that's a bit beyond the scope of things. What if you have two mamas and you double tap both mamas? Um the mama fight to the death? <laughs> Holy crap, you're right. <laughs> uh. I'm sorry. That was cheap. I admit that. It's October. <laughs> so in my nightmare, I was still living with my parents for some reason, and things started off pretty dope. I was having a chill day playing video games and drunk when my sister and her husband came over for dinner. I was actually having a really good time as me and my family were just enjoying ourselves and eating some dope ass steak. Finally, we ended the day and said our goodbyes to my sister and her husband, but before they left, her husband walked up to me and said, Adam, if you see her, run. I was just like, why? He then gives me a hug, smiles, mutters, good luck. And then... 
Frickin' Tyler. The mother double tapped me! I can understand if it was my Instagram. I upload some quality stuff on there, but not here! I know this was a dream, but I was mad at him for like a solid two days after that. <laughs> and because it's a dream, and for some reason dreams are terrible with transitions, I'm now at school, still confused why he said good luck. I start to head to class and I overhear a couple kids talking about some dumb game about how you have to do this thing and activate it. It's called Mama Seeks, blah blah blah. I thought it was dumb, so I ignored it. I guess this was my dream way of explaining the rules to me because as soon as I got home that's when shit got real. I walk into my house and start heading upstairs when all of a sudden I see a figure sprint towards my bedroom and slam into it. Nope, uh -uh, nope, not today. The lights go completely dark and it's somehow nighttime now. I yell over to my parents who were in the living room watching TV asking what the heck is happening to the lights and they were just like, huh? Of course. Holy crap, this game is real. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, so apparently they can't see whatever the ghost is doing. It seems lazy. Okay, Adam, you need to think. How did they say to get rid of it again? I get up from the floor and I start heading towards the front door because like, <laughs> this house is cursed or whatever. I ain't staying in it. But of course, it's a nightmare. Freaking door disappeared. Okay, cool, frick me then. I turn around, run halfway up the stairs and just sort of sit. I'm freaking out at this point. I just start trying to remember how to stop the game. Come on, Adam. You know how to stop this. Just think. 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 Brain black. Wait. I remembered that in order to end the game, I had to double tap someone and transfer mom over to that person. But I can only leave my house, and the only people home is my dad, my mom, my brother. Now, I don't want to hurt my family. I tried finding the back door, opening windows, and even breaking holes in walls, but nothing was working. This mama person was just following me everywhere and I couldn't escape. Eventually I just sat down in a hallway as this horribly disfigured thing was slowly approaching me from the other side. I basically just accepted my fate and awaited my horrible demise. But out of the blue I suddenly heard my brother and what sounded like a friend upstairs so I was like oh, oh what? D does Caleb have a friend over? Ah frick you I should have won. Maybe if you stop sucking. I'm sorry, Caleb. I quickly sprung into action and started running upstairs because friggin' I don't want to die and I'm selfish. What do you want from me? I'm now running through the upstairs hallway and of course, since this is a nightmare, it's as if the gravity is 10 times lower, making it so much harder to touch the floor. While this is happening, Mama's right behind me looking furious as ever and ready to attack. I eventually do get traction on the wall and look up towards my brother's room to aim. I end up seeing him and what looked like a dude right next to him. So I was like, frick, yes. Holy crud, he does have a friend over. I launch myself from the wall and start flying towards them, and I end up slamming straight into his wall. What the heck? No time to explain. I run over to his friend, double tap him, and... <sighs> Holy crap. It's over. It's finally freaking over. I was about to happily explain to him until another voice sounded mildly confused asked from behind me. Uh, Caleb, you getting mugged? My heart dropped. I turned around and saw the TV was playing some sort of game, looked back at my brother, and then looked back at his friend. I was at a loss for words. Because <laughs> his friend was a pile of clothes. I thought you were hanging out with a friend! Yeah, online, playing Call of Duty. Got rocked. I turned around and before I knew it, Mama was right at my face. I was f You might be wondering. Adam, why do they call this thing Mama? Well, as soon as she got me... I found that out myself. Instantly, I was trapped in a completely windowless room made of solid concrete, with one of the walls being a giant mirror. And the figure standing in front of me had transformed itself into looking like my mom, but with little tiny red holes for eyes and a mutilated face and body. It was disturbing. So I'm assuming when she captures the victim, she turns into said victim's mom. I woke up scared out of my mind. My stomach hurt. I had a headache. I was freezing. I felt like I was going to puke. <coughs> Ow, that was un un unintentional. <laughs> you know how in cartoons when a character gets really scared, they just lose all their color and freeze up? That was me, sitting on my bed for a solid hour because I was too afraid to move. Funny thing too was that it was like 6 in the morning, so the sun was pretty much up and shining. I was that scared. I was convinced everything in my nightmare actually happened, but eventually I did end up snapping out of it. Well, because, wait, I'm not dead. So, happy ending. I have nothing to worry about, I think. Probably. <sighs> I'm never drinking coffee before bed again. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and comment down below if you have, like, you know, any scary stories of your own or scary dreams that you've had. 
I love reading them. They're, you know, they keep me entertained when I'm bored. Uh, if I ever make this into like a movie or if this gets like big enough to become a movie, because probably, probably won't, but I want to make like kids. Kids the cast, basically, because if you think about it, when kids are put in scary situations or, or you know, movies, it's, it's, you know, it's more forgiving for them to make mistakes and stuff as, you know, if you were watching an adult making stupid mistakes, you just yell at them. But when these kids are, the kids are like, oh, no, this is scarier because they're kids and also they don't know better. So, yeah, I think that's like, I think that's probably what I'm going to do. Maybe. Also, when adults make a... When adults make mistakes, it gets annoying. Because, like... <laughs> like, if there's a scary noise, walk away from it. What the heck is wrong with you? But, yeah, anyways, um, that's, that's basically all I gotta say about all that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and stay hydrated.